So Craig, speaking of scary, Craig said something about snow in higher elevations. Yeah, quite really? a bit of, up to 20 inches in some cases. Wow. Yeah, so this storm is going to really do a number overnight. Uh, the mountain was out for a moment today. I want to show you this great picture with a lenticular cloud over it. Looks like a little cap on the mountain there, <laughs> Mount Rainier. You certainly needed a cap today, though. It's chilly, wow. <laughs> a little bit chilly. So, yeah, so now the clouds have moved in. We're in the 40s. This is going to be a rain event for the lowlands. Snow above 1,500 feet from Skagit County to the north, about 2,000 feet, uh, feet from Snohomish County down through the south. Now, here's the radar right now. A lot of this right over Puget Sound, not quite reaching the ground just yet. It was so beautiful yesterday, dry. We really need to get the moisture in to kind of saturate all the layers of the atmosphere from the ground all the way up before that reaches uh, the rain reaches the ground. You are getting some rain right along the coast, right along the strait, and it looks like some of that could be a little heavy at times. There's a batch now moving down to the south. Uh, you've got some just moving over Raymond. You've got some of this over to Chehalis, and while it's not a lot, it's very, very light. As we go through tonight, it will pick up. The wind will also pick up at times, and the snow, boy, this number, this is really going to do some really, really bring a lot of snow to the ski areas. There's the system right there, and some reinforcement behind it will give us scattered showers as we go through the day tomorrow. Now, future cast will start off at 730 this evening. Now we're starting to see some rain. Notice a little bit of a rain shadow effect uh, for parts of Everett up through Port Townsend. And then by 9 p.m., more rain for the lower line areas. And then overnight is when the front passes through the back side of the front passes through about 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. After that, you're going to notice just scattered showers for the morning commute and throughout the day. Now, rainfall totals with this could be up to an inch right along the coast, half an inch to an inch or so. This is through Wednesday morning. The lower line area is about a quarter of an inch. Bellingham, Blaine almost three tenths, six tenths for Seattle and Tacoma about half an inch. The wind will pick up later this evening as well out of the south and southwest with that front. That's 730, gusts getting up to 25 and 30 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, they're not so bad for the commute. Now, for the higher elevations, we talked about the snow. Right now, the passes look great. Not a problem at all. No restrictions. However, overnight into tomorrow, be prepared for some winter-like conditions as we've got some winter weather advisories in place. And here's your seven-day forecast. Looks like 40s. Hey, look at next weekend, though. 60s are back on the map next Sunday and Monday.